But now we're going to the reduction of gas fees, and that is one of the promises of Doug Ford that he made in 2018. He said during the campaign, we're going to cut the price of gas by 10 cents a mm -hmm. litre. He technically did knock 4.3 cents off when he did away with the cap and trade. That's right. That was negated by the carbon price. But nonetheless, as recently as November, the Premier said, I'm going to cut the other 5.7% by lowering the provincial gas tax. He said, I'm going to do it by the next budget, which, as you know, is in March, but today he sort of said when he was asked about this, well, we're looking into that. Yeah, we asked the Premier and the President of the Treasury Board, take a look. Well, we're going to look into that. We need to work cooperatively and collaboratively with the federal government. Rather than taxing people non-stop, why don't we put money back into their pockets? Well, we're going to continue uh, to examine all options to make life more affordable uh, for, uh, for Ontarians. Their tax he said he cut it before the budget. We're going to continue, uh, as Premier has mentioned uh, multiple times, uh, look at uh, all options that are available. So very non-committal. It could be, Cynthia, something we do see in the budget. It could be a big part of that. Um, obviously, it would cost the government a lot of in less, uh, lost revenue. I mean, you were yes. talking about the lost revenue today from the... The license the plate stickers. stickers, this would be more of that they'd have to deal yep. with, right? $1.1 billion for stickers, plus don't forget the toll fees that they, they said that they weren't going to charge anymore. I have to say, wasn't it nice to be in a scrum? You know, scrums are when the reporters ask ministers questions, and we got a second question and, and a third question if we wanted. We weren't on a phone line hoping to get a question. A lot of it the time the government so controls the phone line, so it's nice to be there in person yeah, for sure. Yeah, this way we could, we could ask as many questions for the most part. Now, off to politics. Now we're going to munchies, a very important conversation. <laughs> to some of us, and yes. If you're looking for them in the grocery store, you may or may not be disappointed, depending on where you shop. Right Frito-Lay, they make some of the biggest munchies around, uh, Ruffles and Sun Chips and, and, and all this. Uh, they are not selling their uh, products, Cynthia, to Loblaws because what they did, they said, hey, we're going to hike the price of these. Everything's costing more these days. The supply chain is snarled. Frito-Lay says, Loblaws, you're going to have to pay more for the chips. Loblaws said, no, we're not going to do it. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. They didn't want to pass that on to the likes of you and I. So Frito-Lay said, well, we're not going to ship them to you. Oh, wow. So it's a rare public standoff here in the grocery sector. Uh, spokesperson for Loblaws says they are, quote, laser focused on minimizing price increases. Others suggest, though, that the grocers might be using this to increase their market strength to pad their bottom line. One way or another, though, it's another story about uh, prices going up, and I guess the Loblaws trying to prevent that to some extent. Very interesting to how, see how all this plays out. Indeed. And speaking of prices, a uh, rough day on the markets today, largely because of Ukraine. Investors don't like uncertainty, and there's plenty of that on the Russia-Ukraine border. Looks like Russia might be ready to invade. President Biden talking about sanctions today in the U.S. And the Dow was down almost 500 points when the closing bell rang today. Cynthia, the TSX down 100. We've seen a lot of such sell-offs recently amid this conflict. Uh, the Vanek Russian ETF, this is a U.S. exchange-traded fund that tracks Russian stocks. It tumbled 8.9%. The Russian oh, wow. economy could take a hit here with all these sanctions going into place. We did see oil rise. This could put uh, gas prices higher. We also saw investors look to the safety of gold. That's what happened on the markets today. Everything feeling very uncertain right now. Indeed. Richard except, Southern. This is not uncertain. Except, Great to see you, Cynthia. Except to see you. Yes, pilot of my day. Thank you so much. Our one and only Richard Southern.